Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm gonna to be going over the new summer camp challenges that are just gonna be available temporarily and it'll allow you to get the rat scrap mod, I think it's called, for the backpack. But let's get into it here. So this is the squirrel backpack. You're going to have to equip this to do most of the challenges and you can get it in the Atom Shop for free. You just gotta go in there, unlock it, and then you're going to have to go to a workbench and then build it, which I'm going to show here. So you just come over to your backpack and you can put it on as a skin basically is what it is. If you do not have a backpack, I will link a video in the description on how to get one. It is a bit of a journey. Okay, so here's all the challenges that you need to do to get the Scrap Rat mod. You can see you need 10 of 10 to get it, and you can get some flair after completing seven of them. It does seem like a lot, but it's really not that bad, and I'm gonna show you how to smash through these. So the first one that we're gonna focus on is add a mod to a backpack. Again, I will link a video in the description explaining how to get a mod on the backpack, which is through Reddit, and how to get a backpack. Um, I highly recommend using Reddit to get a mod for your backpack if you haven't. Highly recommend it. I will link that in the description as well on how to get um, or how to use Reddit. And as you can see for this challenge, all you have to do is unequip and equip the mod and you're done. It's as simple as that for that one. Unless you have to find the mod. <laughs> um, so the next one we're going to focus on is take a picture of the blue devil. Now you have to take this with a camera. I will link a video in the description on how to get a camera. I don't have one myself, but I will find some other Fallout YouTuber to link. And uh, yeah, hopefully they can show you how to get the camera. Just in case you don't know how. You cannot just take a photo from photo mode. It has to be from the camera. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that eventually. I'll make sure I link a good video that will explain how to use the camera or how to get the camera at least. It's pretty easy. You can get one off a tourist outside of Wavy Willard's um, on a bench, but he's not always there. And anyway, so you have to use this camera to take a picture of the Blue Devil. Now you can wait for safe and sound, but if you don't feel like waiting, you can come to Nar Repair Yard and there are cryptids that spawn here. I find the Blue Devil spawns here fairly frequently. I couldn't get a video of the Blue Devil, but I did get the Agua to show up. So um, yeah, the Blue Devil does spawn here. I've seen him here more than a couple of times, I assure you. And another place you can go to is Welsh Station. And then you're just going to go up the hill here and hopefully there's a blue devil. Now these are just random spawn locations, but I found that these two spawn locations were the best for spawning the Agua or the blue devil. They just seem to spawn those ones more than some other locations that I went to. So I just recommend going to these locations until you see the blue devil, which I'm showing here. I, I didn't hop servers too much and I actually ran into the blue devil, or you can hop servers and look for safe and sound. Might be a bit of a pain to find the blue devil but that's probably the best way to do it now the next one we're going to focus on is craft a disease cure and craft a healing salve so these are the two that i'm focusing on if you do not have these two disease cure and healing salve recipe just hit me up in the comments if you need help with one that you do have i will definitely help you and give you some locations to find the stuff that you may need but these are the two that I found the easiest so I thought I would cover these now you're going to need green thumb on for this because it's going to help you collect twice as much material basically helping you get this done twice as fast so the first place I want you to come to is the Willard corporate housing and we're actually going to be going to wavy Willards which is just next door to it to the left there now when you come here, there will be two thistle. You should get four because you have green thumb equipped. And then like I said, we're gonna go to Wavy Willards, which was just to the left of that spawn location. And you're just gonna go on the outskirts to the right here. Um, again, for that camera, I just passed where he would be on the bench there if you wanna check for that camera. Again, I will find a good video on how to get a camera and I will link that in the description as well. 
But for the Thistle, just keep following the outside of Wavy Willards here and just keep an eye out for it. It is kind of hard to see. I ran out here more than a couple of times and I did manage to find like 12 or 14 total. You can see there's a couple locations here that I'm going to show, but I didn't get a concrete like route showing where the other ones are. But I do assure you there's more than these two around this area. Next place we're going to be going to is Slocum Joe's. And we're going to be getting fire caps. Now just by the bus over here, there's one fire cap over here. Sometimes there's two. And just um, when you turn around from the bus, just come up the hill here. And there's a couple of fire caps over here as well. They're, they're pretty much all over this area. You're honestly not going to need more than 10 of each of this material. And I'm going to show you why as we get a little bit later on to the video. But I just want to make sure you're finding more than enough. I would go for at least 10 and then you're pretty much going to get this done by the time I get you back to a workbench. Okay, so again, from Slocum Joe's, you're just going to head on down to this river. A van down by the river. I'm just joking. <laughs> Just head over to this river over here and um, you're just going to go down it towards the wayward and you're not, you can even spawn at the wayward might even be a better idea because then you won't have to run as far. But I figured you're already over there getting the fire caps. You can just really run down here if you want. And you're going to start seeing bloodleaf and snaptail. There will be tons of it down here, more than enough than you'll need. I just want to point out too that the snaptail is a little bit further down the river than the bloodleaf is. So if you're not seeing snaptail right away, just keep going. This river goes pretty far down, so. And you will find uh, bloodleaf and snaptail right to the end of it. So, like I said, way more than enough. Okay, so before you craft, make sure you put chemist on under intelligence and super duper on under luck because this will help you craft a lot more and it, you'll be able to get it done with a lot less materials. Of course, you're going to need boiled water as well to make these. So just, you know, find some water, collect dirty water, and then you can turn that into boiled water at a cooking station. And then I think you can do this at a cooking station, but I went to a chemistry bench. I think you can do it at both, but either way, you can go craft the healing salve and the disease cure now and you can see just from crafting one in those perks i had on brought me to three just crafting one look at all the materials i still have left over i just needed to craft one more and i had all five done again you can see here i got three just off the first one you might not be as lucky as me but i'm sure you probably won't need to do this more than three times considering you have chemist on and then that's those two complete. Next one we're going to focus on is to kill a rad rat or a mole rat. Now the first place I want you to go for this is the general's steakhouse. Now they don't always spawn over here, which is actually rad rats. Uh, more often than not, I do find them spawning over here. So hopefully you're luckier than I was today. I couldn't get footage of them over here, but I only came over here like twice. And they're just going to be in the back here by all the vegetables. And like I said, unfortunately, I got mongrel dogs on this, uh, you know, hop. But uh, hopefully, like I said, you're a little bit luckier than I am. The second place you can go to is the White Springs Bunker. Now, this is a guaranteed spawn point for two mole rats. So if you just come to this spot, kill two of them, and then, you know, maybe check the other place too, General uh, Steakhouse. And you can just keep hopping servers until you finish this. Hopefully you don't need to hop more than a couple of times to get this done. Shout out to Smalls. How you doing there, buddy? Always joining the team. <laughs> so yeah, you're just going to come over here. You can even just blow up the cars. It'll still count towards the kill. And there's, a, like I said, this is a guaranteed spawn. General Steakhouse isn't. Okay, so the next challenge we're going to focus on is to pick a lock. Now, definitely I have to recommend Master Infiltrator. It'll make this a lot easier. If not, you're going to have to put some lock picking perks on under Perception. But I highly recommend this even if you put on level 1. 
and you're just gonna come over to drop site V9 here. It's where the Scorch Beast Queen event is uh, usually happening. And you just come into this little bunker here and there's gonna be three things to unlock. Now you do need a total of five things, of course, but again, you can just hop servers, come over here and there should be three things to unlock unless someone in the server already did it. Just probably one of the quicker places to come to that I could think of. Okay, so the next challenge we're focusing on is cook steak with the squirrel backpack. Most of these are with the squirrel backpack equipped on. So just want to point that out, but let's cook some steak now. So you can actually come to Pleasant Valley train station, which is right here on the map. And then you're just going to come over here where I'm showing. Now there's going to be some cows over here. Now there is a better place than this to go for the cows, but I thought I would just show this place too as well in case where I'm gonna show next doesn't have enough cows, which I think they will, but I just wanted to show this just in case there wasn't enough cows there. You can come here as well, and there is usually three down here. It's like a guaranteed spawn, I'm pretty sure of that. And we're just gonna come down the hill here and you can see the three cows here. Do not forget to put on Butcher's Bounty like I almost did here, so you can collect possibly twice as much meat. If you have level three, I think it's a 90% chance to double it. I could be wrong on that though, but the higher the level, the better the chance to double the meat. Okay, so the better place I would suggest is actually Flatwoods to go get the, uh, the cow meat or the Brahmin meat, I should say. And the reason I recommend over here too is because I feel like there's more Brahmin over here and there's a cooking station. So you can just kill two uh, birds with one stone per se here and just get it done a little bit faster. You can see there's lots of cows around here. Even that dead body I think has Brahmin meat sometimes. It didn't for me or it didn't have it for me there, but after you get enough of it, you can come to the cooking station here and then just cook up the steaks. Very easy way to make steak is just grabbing Brahmin meat. Again, highly recommend having Super Duper on. It will help you complete this faster. Okay, the next challenge. Take a picture of Jaggy with the squirrel backpack equipped. Now, this is a super duper easy one, unless you don't have a camera, which I will link in the description. So we're just going to come over here on the map. And then this is our friend Jaggy right here. You might have to kill a couple of ghouls just so it's convenient to take the picture. Simple as that. Take the picture. Another challenge done. And I'm just going to show on the map again where it is here again. I couldn't remember the name of it. Pioneer Scout Camp. So that's where you're going to come to see Jackie. Okay, so the next challenge. Collect Myrler Queen Meat. Very easy. We're just going to come here to Sunrise Field on the uh, southern part of the Cranberry. And you will find a Myrler Queen over here. Sometimes there's Myrler Hunters. Sometimes there's Kings. So just be careful. And, you know, you, you're going to be fighting a Myrler Queen too, so just, you know, come over here more than a little bit prepared. These enemies can kill you pretty quickly if, uh, you know, you're lacking a good weapon or good armor. So just wanted to point that out. If you got like an XP build, it might not be the best thing to come over here with. <laughs> Sometimes the uh, queen doesn't spawn. I notice you just got to go into the water and fire your weapon or even, you know, gun butt. And she, like I did right there, and then she will appear. And definitely aim for the legs. And hopefully you can kill her as fast as I did here. Hopefully even faster, actually. And then you'll just collect the meat off of her. And boom, that's another challenge done. Okay, now complete daily challenges. Now I would think this is just kind of like, <laughs> like I don't really need to tell you how to do this. I'm sure we all know how to do dailies by now. Like they get you to plant crops. They'll get you to collect caps. It's pretty self-explanatory. Let me know in the comments if you need any help completing some daily challenges and I will give you my best input on how to complete it and maybe some little tips and tricks that I could give you to again help complete it a little bit quicker. And that's pretty much it, everybody. I just wanted to point out that you can't get this done in one day because you do need to get 10 dailies done and you can only get up to eight done a day. So I just want to say too, I will have a video reviewing the Scrap Rat mod on the backpack. I'm just going to put it on and go around and collect a bunch of junk and we'll test it and we'll make a video of it as well. I'll have it as early as possible tomorrow. And I hope this guide helps you get as close as you can to getting this uh, mod as well. 
Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.